What's up guys, welcome to a brand new YouTube video. It's been not too long, thankfully. Uh, today we just finished up doing a podcast. We have nah, Jeff Nippert in the building. Or, um, nah, literally just wrapped it up. So, had a great conversation. If you guys aren't already subscribed to the Better Take Podcast, go ahead and subscribe. Um, but we are going to be having a nice bench session. You said you needed to bench, yeah. and then it's kind of <laughs> yeah, whatever yeah, from there. Yeah. I can run the whatever part if you want. Say less. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys don't even know who Jeff is, I don't know, there's no way. Never know, man. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, for real, sometimes people surprise me. They're wearing like rise and it's like they're doing an exercise that like I, I made up. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I'm like, hey, and they're just like, wait, I'm like where did you get that shirt? Yeah. And like, That's a Christmas gift. And I was like, so Jeff Nippert is like the, the go-to science guy in the fitness industry. So if you guys aren't already up on his videos, go type in Jeff Nippert and you'll see everything. He's down here in Houston getting some content chilling, relaxing, and um, we're gonna work out today. We're gonna have some fun with it, so super excited to have him down. It's been a minute since I've last seen you. Well, bro, we did a video together on your channel when you were- Yeah, when I was doing the bodybuilding, the, the bodybuilding but that thing. Was still, but that was like I virtual. Know. It was virtual, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, No, it's fun. I've never trained with you. We've never trained together, right? That's true, so, yeah. I've seen you in the gym, because that one time you were at Alpha Elite, like, yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, I think I was- ago. I think you guys were just wrapping it up as I pulled up, so. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully the hype squad's there today too. It's been a minute. I've been training so early, I haven't been able to run into anyone. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go head on to the gym now. Do you see the pits from here? Yeah, you're probably. It's hot, yeah. yeah. It's pretty hot in Texas. Pretty nice. Yeah, summer shredding weekend just wrapped up. Seen a lot of y'all just like running around here in Houston. <laughs> So now we got like 15 people on one rack. So we're gonna run it. The goal here is gonna be like fast pace. Whenever like you have a bunch of uh, people that are kind of going at once, you wanna make sure you're constantly moving. Cause it's very easy for people to start looking at each other and wondering what the fuck is going on. So I'll have to take a vocal roll for today's workout. And be talking like, yo, who's up, who's up, uh, who's up, let's go. Yeah, I am the king of the E, and get it bitch screwed like the DJ. Yeah, I am the sit where we play, we got to chop where we play. Okay. Yeah, come through the city, we're gonna chop your ass up, just like some sushi. Yeah. AK-47 stick, go stupid. Yeah. Draw the money out all the way. Okay. Oh yeah, Jamal. Now, nah, Jamal don't want that pressure. Jamal don't like that. I don't like that pressure, oh, nigga. Oh, 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 more pressure. What? More pressure. It's a rumor I want you to talk to him. It's a rumor that you wait for somebody else to go next to you, so then you go. That's what I, I ain't gotta talk. I just. I, I, I. <laughs> hey, Izzy started that rumor. <laughs> no, no, hell no. Nah. Because I'm curious. So yeah. if I'm curious, people might be. Yeah. Uh, like, what are you doing today? Like, on bench? I just see you just ripping it. But Yeah, so today we have a heavy sing, heavy single at RP7. Okay. Uh, so just kind of filling it out, warming up. Okay. Um, so you're doing just one heavy single and then done? No, no, no. One oh. heavy single and then a three by eight. Oh, and then a three by eight? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. But like, I work out super fast. Like, a lot of yeah. lifters, like, it's very chill. A lot of lifters are very chill. Come on, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing, 5'6? I'm asking who got me on the lift off. Oh, I got the <laughs> but like yeah, so I like to attack the, the workout versus just like being very like no relaxed, yeah. I went down down bad. I had to tighten the fuck up, but I'm here for the crown crown. Oh shit, I was a fuck though. I was down down bad. I had to tighten the fuck up, but I'm here for the crown crown. Not, not over 200. I'm like 195. You're a 190. big 83, though. Yeah, yeah. You are a very big 83. Because I feel like you are quite lean, right? Yeah. So like, you could no, 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 no. be 93. Yeah. So the plan, whatever. yeah, the plan, the plans move up to 90, but, 93. Um, but like, I don't have a problem like cutting into 83. Like I just yeah. have to eat. Oh no. I, I have to, I have to count macros. But if you don't feel like you're having to compromise muscle, yeah then definitely say 83 for yeah. sure. I got maybe like right, one or two more meets at 83 and then I'll move up to 93. Oh, you, so you will eventually? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, sure, okay. sure. At the meet I did in Korea as a 90, I'm like, yeah, there's so much more potential yeah. to grow. 83 is kind of hard to come by like PRs if I stay on a low body. 83 to 93 is a pretty big gap yeah, too. Like yeah. Yeah. Down, down, bad. 
I had to tighten the fuck up, but I'm here for the crown, crown. Oh shit, I was a fuck though. I was a down, down bad. I had to tighten the fuck up, but I'm here for the crown, crown, crown. crown. Dreamville, head hot, your bitch, we came for nothing, just like the Big Bang Theory. The poverty stain kept the pain buried and covered the shame with a dream. We would have fortune and fame. A million to bank, chameleon paint turned crane berry. Now little Jermaine got the same stories that pour out of Saint Vincent Saint, Saint Mary's go. All hell, King Cole, first of his name, long may rain. The boy got the throne, but you know it in a game. Good nigga, I was born in the same. Pressure cooker, that's been known to bust a lump of cola, make a diamond. I'm trying, I'm trying to make it to the Pro Bowl this year, man. I'm just. Yeah. Trying to listen to what coach says and just run it back every single time. Hey man, I'm saying you should listen to your coach, man. He's telling you, he's gonna get you where you need to get. But you know, what do they say? I think they say they talk about uh, 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 you know, coaches make good athletes, but you know, athletes make great athletes. Is that what you know what I'm saying? Hey, play, hey, playmakers make plays. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Do your thing. You don't fit your part. Everything will come to you. you don't let the success come to you. You know. You know? I heard you, I heard you, coach, appreciate it. All right, I'll see you out there, I'll see you out there. I 21, I 21. <laughs> you know what I'd like to actually find out, I'm curious right now, because I've never trained in heat like this, mm -hmm. is like, what's the actual caloric expenditure difference between training in a place like this and play, training in like a fully AC gym? Because everybody who trains at a place like this is like, I get a way better workout and I sweat yeah. and I'm burning calories. That's a good, because I've been having like hot takes on that, because yeah. like, for me, I, I, I think it's mostly because I'm so used to training this type of environment. I literally cannot go to like a commercial gym because I feel like it takes me way too long to get right. like ready. And you then when that. I start lifting, it's like, you almost, ha like you have to be cognizant that you may or may not lose your pump. Whereas here, That's like yeah, you I walk in, you're already pumped, veins popping out and shit. So, bro, yeah. That's actually a good idea, like. Yeah, I'd like to know. I mean, based, I, I have some idea. I wouldn't say the differences are astronomical, but if you spend enough time here, it, it would probably add up. Yeah. It'd probably be, if I had to guess, you're spending a full workout in here, it might be in the range of like an extra 100 calories even, yeah. if I had to guess. Because my coach and, um, that's my uh, coach's brother, they're talking about like your like your performance is affected 100%. Like yeah. it's gonna dip down. Versus like if you're in an AC gym. For sure. Yeah, because like you're sweating and losing so much water. And so then do you find when you go to an AC environment, you're like supercharged then? Like, no. No, oh you don't. I feel worse. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think it helps that it's so warm in here because my body, like you said, it helps with the joints. Yeah, oh for sure. So like, sure. I've trained at Outland, the commercial gym part, like gym number two a couple yeah. of times. Yeah. And like, it just doesn't, it takes me like, a, I'm almost on my like back down sets by the time I feel comfortable in the squat. If that makes sense. I can see that. Yeah. But um, here like, if there's a performance just, dip, I, I'll a, make dinner. There's a sweet spot though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, so I would say, I'll say gym number two. Yeah. Um, it's like a good mixture of like a warehouse gym, but they have a lot more bay doors, so air circulates. Nice. Here, it's like a sauna. It's like we have one bay door, and all the heat's kind of like centralized right here. Oh, it's centralized. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, for me, I like to work out with anger. Yeah. And the heat like makes me mad. Okay. So it's like, it's almost like a. Bro, that's deep. That's true. Bro, right now. Oh. I always, I always feel like I work out better when I'm pissed off. Really? Yeah. See, I'm not. No, no shot. Really? I need to, I need to have, have a good mindset. Good mindset. Yeah. I'll be thinking that I have something wrong with me because I come in and like I'll make, I'll be irritated about like the yeah. most random thing, but like on purpose. Yeah, I know you might wanna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like for example. Like one of the best like examples, doctor, yeah, yeah, one of the best examples, I walked, I walked <laughs> into the gym, you. I walked into the gym, all the racks were taken, and I just made myself mad about that. Okay. Like, even though like, I don't, I truly don't no. care. Yeah. But, no, I, I get think, that. Yeah, I think sure. Ronnie used to say a similar thing. Yeah. He, I, I don't think he ever went into detail, but he was like, you gotta be in a vicious. Yeah. My, or Kai Green used to talk about that too. Yeah. Like almost like a killer mind state, yeah. literally. Yeah. Like, it's it's refreshing to come in like just be mad at something. I'm mad at something right now, but like okay. not really. You know what I mean? Okay. It's just for the training no, session. I mean, if you want us to leave, we can do it. But honestly, I think I'm just gonna like do some like light body. Like I'm gonna do like maybe bicep and tricep. I don't know. So let me think about this. So you got a you did a bench day. Yeah, bench day. You, then you have I'm assuming a squat day. Yeah, squat day. And day. Deadlift day. Deadlift day. And then maybe another bench day? Yeah, like another bench and squat day. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So what would you normally do accessory wise after a bench day though? Um anything that kinda like feeds into it. So I'll do maybe triceps, chest, shoulders. Oh, uh, so you try to complement it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. like today today's a little bit different because I'm training way later than I normally train. Um so just to like save energy, I might do a little bit of arms. It's, gonna, it's like probably a little bit more weight doing chest. Okay. Do you um, want me to lead the arms? Yeah, whatever okay. you want to do. Alright, yeah. Okay. 
Science-based arms? Yeah, I'm down science-based arm workout. <laughs> Bayesian cable curl? Okay. This is a movement I haven't done before, so like I'm just like visualizing. Number one, just paying attention to what he's doing, the little minor uh, small details. And then I'm gonna try my best to mimic that and apply that. I call that a warm-up set. I'm just trying to get in the feel of the technique. Okay. So that's not any actual work. Oh, there. okay, okay. When you get so set, I actually do the 100%. I'm still gonna the technique will be the same, okay. but with this I'm just getting a feel for the weight because it's a new cable, yeah. it's a new handle. Um, I'm not used to being this goddamn warm. Yeah. <laughs> maximum stretch on the bicep because like I was saying in the podcast that's the most hypertrophic part of the lift so we prioritize that by putting it early and so you're gonna get the most stretch on your bicep when it's actually back behind your shoulder because the bicep crosses the shoulder too the bicep can do this yeah so if you put the bicep back behind the shoulder you're in maximum stretch think if you're gonna try to stretch your bicep you're not gonna do it like this you're gonna you're gonna go here so that's what we're trying to get here and then as you curl you'll find that this is, it hits your form, which is really annoying. And you can't get a full squeeze. So to, to compensate for that, you go really upright to get a full stretch here in the shoulder. And then as you curl, you bend forward so it doesn't hit your form. That's pretty much it. You should feel a deep stretch here and get nice and upright. Yep, beauty. And if you're finding that this is annoying, you might have to lean a little more forward. Okay. Let me see how to see in the mirror a little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then lean forward. As you curl, lean forward. And that, your arms are so big, they can't get out of the way, but... As you curl, lean. There you go. So you're here, and then you're here. Shoosh! Yeah, 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 I feel it. Yeah. Somebody else will get right. And then control, control good. Nice. Yeah. Keep your arm back as you curl. Now curl. Okay. <laughs> that pump is crazy though. Yeah. Just gonna get that nice, smooth movement down. Yeah, it's a little different. So what you want to think about is like, your shoulder stays back. You're just kind of hinging at the hips a little bit. If that gets annoying, you don't have to do that. You can, you can just, you can just curl here. That's fine. I might have been able to do a little more weight, but if I tried another rep, the form would have been bad. So I start with my right and then I just match it. Okay. Do you match? So when you have like muscle imbalances like that, do you add a rep, extra rep, or you just lean towards the? I basically just push my weaker side as hard as I can, and then match with the other side, even if it's not quite as hard. A lot of people always ask about muscle imbalance issues and like what the, what, what they need to do. Like I think so. You want to you want to lead with the weaker side. Jeff is definitely more advanced in this movement than me, so I had to drop the weight down a little bit. Yeah, get this. Let me. 
about 40 MPM. Should be fine. But like, whenever you're like learning a new movement or you're working out with a partner, you don't have to like match exactly what they're doing. Be able to like understand like, okay, this guy's definitely in a more progressive state than I am, and then adjust accordingly. So Russ, I don't want you to curl as far up. Like so, just like kind of keep it here. Right here. Yeah. Okay. That looks better. There you go. Okay. This is focusing on the stretch. Yeah. You want to keep it more in that stretch. There you go. So just keep it nice and tight. Yeah. Now we're talking. Nice. There we go. Okay, that feels a lot more natural. Cool. Yeah, keep it going now. No pausing in between. There you go. Control and up. Good. Let's keep. Let's push this set. That's it. It's a shorter range than you're used to. Push it, bro. Dude. Keep it going. Good work, bro. Good work. Stretch right here. Good. Can I just show you? This is what you have a tendency to do is uh, you curl to here and then you want to do this. And do you see how the, cur the cable is wrapping around my forearm? It's because you're trying to curl all the way up here. In reality, you should stop. You can stop literally right here. So you come to here and stop. You do this, okay? Finish and then control it. Finish and then control it. Good. Okay. Beauty. It's almost like a. Not a. What's it called? Like they like abuse and shit. They what? They like abuse. Uh, I laugh whenever I get like uncomfortable. Like. <laughs> oh, it's like a trauma. Psychopath? Like no, nah, I'm not like a trauma response. <laughs> like a psychopath? Yeah. rep range and again yeah. we're gonna stay more in the stretch part of the curl so you're thinking maybe bottom two-thirds of the motion
excited for 12 weeks, yeah. natural pro. Yeah. Immediately. Think so? <laughs> Immediately. I'm Maybe like, not even 12. Yeah. Maybe 10. I'm like doing these I'm like, you're already like, you a bad pro show? A bad pro pro? Yeah. You're already. <laughs> I always say that I'm like, it depends on what show I do. Like, but, you know? no, I mean, you're one of the most muscular natural guys I've ever seen, bro. It's yeah, insane. Sure. And well proportioned too. Don't Crazy. skip don't skip your accessories. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's rough. But just imagine if you trained with the intentionality. You, if yeah, you were yeah. like, for three months, I'm gonna actually do everything in my power to hypertrophy these muscles as much as I can. Yeah. Well, I think my physique, I mean, like, obviously, your physique would look a lot different if, like, you just strictly focus on bodybuilding. Like, even, like, with just the little things that you're showing me, like, I don't typically train like that. Like, and, well, you just told me this is the hardest to train biceps in a while. Yeah, I don't, I so, I mean, yeah. there's room to grow there. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, all right, come on, you're, but relative to you. Biceps on my pull day, and I do triceps on my push day. So twice each. Let's go. I'm gonna give you some uh, assisted reps on this one. You're gonna take the negative. Push it. Keep it going. I'm not gonna help until you can't get to my hand. Let's go. Okay, here we go. I got you. You take the negative. You're gonna do three like this. One. Let's go. I'm with you. Come up. Control. One more. I'm with you. Control it. That's nice. I literally can't like. <laughs> I was trying to drink my water. I said. Bad day to take the pump. Take the pump on it. Anytime anybody says to me that you can't build muscle with powerlifting style training, I'm just gonna show them a photo. <laughs> if you do like your excess, yeah, 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 yeah. So if you, if literally all you do is squat bench and dead, then yeah. Still, yeah. I mean, like, but even then you can still build a lot of muscle. You just might not have big lats or big side delts. You'll have a big chest, glutes, quads. Yeah. I just, like, I just wish you would take like three, six months. And just do body body now. Just bodybuilding? But I was about to do something like that, but uh, you know, he's already so elite what at what he's doing that yeah. you know? It's like the can you see like my forearms are like the same size as my biceps right now. It's just crazy. It's like a balloon right now. Alright, you wanna help me with a few uh, yeah. assisted you give me three extra. Some more in you. I got there two you more go. on my own. Come on. Nice. Come on. One more on my own. Come on. 
Push, push, push. Nice. Come on, let's go. Go. Nice. Down on your own. Up. Come on, push, push. Nice. Down on your own. Come on. One more. Push, push, push. Good. Okay. Down on your own. There you go. There you go. Okay. Nice. Let's do some side delts. Side delts? Okay. I used to do this shit all the time. Come on, I I just know. <laughs> oh shit. So like little things, you little things. Pose for pose. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 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 
Pretty solid workout, man. It's funny, I never train biceps with that emphasis of focus on like just the bodybuilding element of it. It's more so just like getting the movement in and like literally, like my arms are shaking. It reminds me of like how like I used to train at a uh, college. Yeah. Every single session, I'd just be kind of like shaking or whatever, so. Yeah, man, I appreciate you stopping by too. What else you got for the for the rest of the trip? Uh, I'm doing a video with Christian tomorrow um, and then I uh, gotta get some answers on my uh, <laughs> my investigative yeah. research. Let me see this clearly. I'm trying to see like. <laughs> I feel like yeah. I, like, I think you're accurate, but I actually think accurate. you're bigger than this. Yeah, that's what I'm really saying. Do, like, which is insane. Maybe this guy. No, I don't think you have that much body fat. Yeah. Anyway. So I'm trying to see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see where people rank their bodies, mm -hmm. and then see the heat map of where the most dates are. Oh, do you know what I mean? Okay, okay. Oh, I see. So it's like, do the dates, are these people getting more dates? Or are people who look like this getting more dates? Yeah. Or is it just all over the place? Because he was asking me, he's like, do you feel like working out attracts more women? Or do you think women are into like, you know, people that actually lift? I personally don't really think so. You have to have like a lot of different things going for you. And then the lifting is more of like a compliment on top of that as well. So. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's what it seems to be, but no, no spoilers. Yeah. I think I need to make it out. Where exactly do you live in Canada? Like, what city? I'm in Toronto. Toronto? I'm just outside Toronto. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need to make it out. Hey. To you should, bro. Yeah. Yeah, we can get some, like, yeah, we can get some great workouts yeah. and have a good time. I thought it was gonna be a good time. But um, yeah, that's Jeff on the channel. If you guys don't know about Jeff, obviously I'm gonna have his stuff linked in the description box. You guys can check him out. Um, <laughs> I feel like that does nothing for. Because how many millions? How many followers do you have on on YouTube? Three point something. Yeah. Woo. Shit. <laughs> I, there's no even point in putting a description box in there. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. No, you're fine. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's it for today's video, guys. Um, we recorded the podcast, so check that out next Monday. Um, we're gonna be in Miami, literally leaving Thursday, um, and then you guys come link up with us on um, Saturday. I'll probably have like the Eventbrite thing linked, so you guys can RSVP for that. But um, thank you guys for tuning in today's video. Like always, if you guys like today's video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get better today. I'm out. But what's fit the bus you can touch? Blessed with the real side of life, just enough. You couldn't fight it with your strongest might. Lay down, nigga, eyes, visualize bad perception. Major interference, suit your upper body.